Welcome back. Our coverage is continuing with Hurricane Barrel, now Tropical Storm Barrel. But we have been talking a lot for the last couple of days about the Red Cross response. Locally, we have a lot going on. So we want to welcome back. You were here yesterday, yes. Dr. Yeah. Daniel Martinez, with the uh, the executive director of our local Red Cross, Central and South Texas. Thank you so much for what you've been doing. We had you here yesterday in the evening. You came in on a Sunday just to make sure that we had this information about the preparation. Now that preparation happened, tell us what's going on right now with recovery. Yes, yeah, so basically it was a lot of hurry up and wait, right, as we uh, look to see exactly where Barrow would make landfall. So now the 320 volunteers who have come to San Antonio from all over the country are now being mobilized to the Houston-Galveston area primarily, uh, but as well as all the surrounding areas. So the 30 emergency response vehicles, the uh, volunteers, everything is now being mobilized out in that direction. So for the safety of our volunteers and shelter workers, we wait until uh, any danger has passed. And now everybody's getting sent to that area to open the shelters and to begin uh, supporting the needs of that area. And I know just, you know, what, 10 minutes ago, you were on the latest update from people who are on the ground in some of these areas affected by barrel. What are they seeing? Correct. So right now, uh, the, the biggest concern uh, that is being conveyed to Red Cross, of course, is flooding, which is yielding the loss of power and other issues. Unfortunately, we were discussing the loss of life that's already occurred and the other uh, major devastation. And so now it's our job as humanitarians to go in and provide as many resources as we can and to provide not only uh, shelters and those types of resources, but we also provide mental health resources, spiritual care, those types of things. So the devastation isn't um, maybe as great, uh, great as some of the previous hurricanes, but it's yeah. still devastating. Yeah, and it spans. We've been talking a lot, of course, about Matagorda because that's where it hit and made landfall. But the entire coast, I mean, we've been talking about Houston a lot, and eventually you will be deployed there? Correct. Okay. So uh, not only myself, but others from the San Antonio region and our team are all going to be deployed to that region to help provide relief services to that local chapter as well as everyone in need within the surrounding areas. You know, I said when we saw the video of the Red Cross trucks leaving, San Antonio. I said, I'm not surprised. San Antonians love to help. What is the biggest need right now? I mean, it, it, we have a couple numbers that you can call. You see one right there, 1-800-RED-CROSS. The biggest needs for you right now? Absolutely. Very simply, it's, there's two needs that we constantly have. Number one, volunteers. 90% of our workforce are volunteers, and the 320 individuals that are heading to the houston Galveston area are all volunteers from around the country. So volunteers are always needed. We cannot deliver mission without them. The second thing is financial support. So just Red Cross response alone, we anticipate this to be about $1.5 to $2 million response effort. And that is done entirely through the efforts of the generosity of our donors. So whether it's volunteerism or financial support or donations, anyone can go onto our website, redcross.org, or call 1-800-RED-CROSS and get more information uh, to see how they can provide those resources. And I'm guessing, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but any amount helps. Every amount helps. So whether it's one dollar or a million dollars, everything is far reaching because it all gets to applied directly towards the humanitarian aid that we're providing. And you talked about volunteers. We've done multiple stories here at KSAT looking at those trainings. A lot of people out there might think, oh, this is too much for me to handle or I won't be able to help. Anyone can help volunteer. There are lots of jobs for people. It's not just deployment. Correct. Anything. So today, for example, we had individuals who are volunteering at the local office just helping with cleaning, helping provide snacks, helping to load trailers. So if it's just, hey, you know, I get a really stressful job and I want to go just provide some mindless work to help, great. If you have a specialty and a certification, as I mentioned, uh, licensed professional counselors can come and help to provide mental health services. So if uh, you want just to provide your, yourself and say, hey, I'm here, what can I do? That's great. If you have a specialty, special training, and want to lend those services as well, we gladly accept those two. You know, you said flooding is what you're hearing. Yes. Is that the biggest damage that's being done so far and where your volunteers are? This is not a one day thing for you, though. I mean, you're going to be there for weeks. What kind of damage, what kind of effects do you expect in the days and weeks to come? All right. So a lot of what we're going to be doing, especially as we look at how we open our shelters, there are different types of shelters that we open. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but because the flooding has caused so much power outage, a lot of what we're going to provide are resources for charging your cell phones, communicating with loved ones. Um, and then we provide comfort kits, which include uh, cleaning supplies so that if your home did yeah. experience 
any kind of flooding or damage, you can utilize the kits from the Red Cross to get those um, to get yourself started with the process of recovery. Um, and it could be any number of resources depending on what the family or individual needs. Uh, we can help provide either direct services or through our partner agencies referrals to get the support specifically uh, that each individual would need. And I'm guessing if you, if you've been through this. You have a lot of questions, like just where do you start? Who do I call? I'm guessing the Red Cross would also be a good resource for that. Correct. It, it's an overwhelming experience. Um, you know, not everybody who lives on the coast has actually gone through a hurricane yet. Right. Some people are moving there, right? There's a lot of people moving to Texas, which is a great thing. And it's overwhelming if you don't know. So one of the things that is so great about the Red Cross is we always find a way to yes. So that means usually we're going to provide the service or the resource. But if we can't, we're going to be the partner agency that helps each individual find the resources and uh, agencies that they need to begin that process of recovering and really healing and moving forward from this event. And quickly, something you mentioned yesterday, super helpful because we are still in the immediate aftermath. Tell us about the app. It works when you don't have service. Hopefully people have downloaded it already, but it is available. Absolutely. So the Red Cross app is truly amazing because it's easy to download. You can use it without internet service. It's constantly being updated, but it has resources where current um, shelters are open, current resources for individuals impacted, how you can get involved if you want to volunteer, how you can donate. And I you mentioned yesterday, even things like pet CPR and those types of things, right? Things we don't think about necessarily while we're dealing with this. It's all available on the app. All right. So great to know. Thank you yes. so much. Thank yeah. you. Texans helping Texans. Yes. 1-800-RED-CROSS, redcross.org. Mm -hmm. Dr. Daniel Martinez, appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate you. And yeah. we'll keep in contact with them, especially as you deploy. Thank Thanks you. so much. Yeah, we're going to give you a key card because you come to that <laughs> so come often. Come every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I love being we'll here. See if we we appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. thank yeah. you. Thank <laughs> you. Daily updates.